Hello. So I had some paint left from my uh, Vivid Pot pour with primary elements uh, pour from my latest uh, video. And I decided I'm going to do uh, two flip cups because I have two small canvases. These are little 20 by 20 centimeters. And I'm going to do one with white and one with uh, black. Uh, I will list, list uh, the colors below this video. I will show you. And I mentioned all the colors of course in my uh, other video. I will start with uh, flip cup in white. So I will first put some white in the flip cup. I will put it here. And then I'm going to use half of my colors. I'm just going to pour them in. Oh, sure. I, I'm going to put some silicone in this color because I think I want to have a little bit of cells in this one. Okay. So only a couple of drops dimeticone in this color. I do love these primary elements so much. I just cannot tell you. These are so pretty. Okay, then I will put some white on top. And here we go guys. This will be a quick video. I just wanted to uh, finish up all that pretty paint that I have. And I don't know if you can see that shine, but only the drippings from my previous painting. Well, it's so gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Hmm, I could have used a little less white, I see. I was afraid I wouldn't have enough paint for the canvas. But I also wanted to try if I could do just a flip cup with these primary elements. So I'm first going to stretch it a little bit, then I will torch and then stretch the last part. Okay, now I will torch it. Just a little. I got some pretty funky cells here. They're white and in there there's light blue, dark blue, purple, yellow. <laughs> they really look very pretty. And now I will slowly... You know what? I'm going to put some white around it. Because I don't want to lose too much paint. This is just a normal titanium white paint. Because the primary elements are all about color. So I'm just using my regular white paint. For basics. Uh, 
then I just wanted to see what a white or a black, black flip cup will do with these primary elements. Well, there goes my design. I think we got some pretty amazing cells and colors. As you can see, the white made some of the colors very pastel. But there are also some parts that are really heavenly colored. I like that. I wanted this to tip over. Come on. Now I'm working on the design a little bit. Oh wow guys. That part is 100% rainbow colors. That's just too pretty, really. And also that sunburst yellow, it's so amazing. This is one pretty flip cup, you guys. Okay, wipe off my hands and then I will torch it one more time. Holding it up high because I don't want to burn my paint, of course. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a close up of this one and then I'll be back with number two. And here we are. I hope I can show you that rainbow colors there. Wow, it's so hard to show you the real colors on camera, but I'm trying. That is so amazing, so pretty. Here's that uh, sunburst yellow. Wow. This paint is really mingling into each other. So nice. And here you can see that I really got a pastel look because of the white that mixed through it. This is so amazing that primary elements, I need uh, one kilo jars, Leslie. I don't know if you're watching, but oh my goodness. I'm sorry you guys, it's so hard to film this with this lighting. Okay, well, I hope you like this one. I'll be back with the one with the black base color. Okay. Okay, I'm back and now we are going to use the same colors but only with a black base coat. So I'm just going to fill that cup. Putting down a little bit of black. And then I'm just going to empty all the cups with that primary elements and bling it. 
So please read below the video what these colors and mixes are. Putting a little bit of black in between. And a little bit of white. So maybe we can get a little bit of different shades of that colors. You know, I don't even want to throw away that cups. <laughs> it all looks so pretty. I really love all that bling. I think that's the reason why I love doing uh, art dressing so much. Because I really, really love all that shiny and blingy and glitters and bright colors. Let me see. I will put in a little bit more of the black. And now I will just flip it, let it sit. So I'm having a really good day. With all this testing, really these are the best days of my life. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow. As you can see, I kept the consistency pretty thick. But I think when your paint is a little bit more thick, you get better flip cups, prettier cells, that's my theory and it works for me, oh wow, this is so pretty you guys, I don't want to tilt it, <laughs> I'm torching it now, Let's see if the silicone is doing anything, I can see some cells coming up right here. And I will put some black around it. And then we will tilt. I think my black paint is a little bit on a thick side. But that's okay. I will get a stick and divide the paint a little bit. And also the black is mixed with a gloss varnish. Because the Vivid Polypore is drying up really glossy. I wanted my base paint to be glossy also, so I thought I just mix it with a gloss varnish and see if that works. I think so. So I think my next uh, video will be uh, a resin pour with the resin art from Color Art, because I haven't tried those yet either. 
And I know I am getting in metallic paint and outdoor acrylics from Artesa. So I will be testing that also. So you see I'm very busy at the moment. But I love that. Okay. I'm just going around with my fingers now and paint that sides a little bit black. I have to lift that a little because there's white paint beneath from the previous canvas. And I don't want to, that to get in the black. covered it and I can always go back later oh you guys just look at how pretty this already is but I'm going to tilt it now very careful I don't want to go over the edge too much because I really don't want to lose anything of that colors goodness you know on that uh, bling it really comes to life amongst the black background it really is And I'm so sorry that the camera is never showing the colors the way it should be and the, and the bling. But this is so amazing, you guys. Just look at how pretty this is. I really cannot get over it. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay, I will wiping off my fingers and then I will blowtorch it one more time. There we go. Just popping out some air bubbles and maybe the silicone is giving us a little bit more cells. But Okay, so I'm going to get the camera and give you a close-up. I'll be back. So here we are. This is so amazing, you guys. I hope I can show you that sparkle and that color shift. But as you know, that's really hard to catch that on camera. This is so great. We got some, yeah, I don't know, pretty lacing here, you see. You can see the blue and the violet sparkles in the black. Here you can see that purple being a little bit color shift, you see. If I do it like this, it's blue, and now it's purple. It's just, oh, I'm sorry. It's just so amazing. I hope I'm not too shaky with the camera. If so, my apologies. Just look at it. Isn't it just like all colors of a rainbow? I can see a little bit of air bubbles, so I will torch it again after I put the phone down. 
Okay guys, I hope you like this video. Please give me your thumb up, subscribe and all the paints and everything are in the subscription below the video. So I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.